Hello folks, how should I prepare in this last lap? And so, uh, the theory, concept, funda, all of those ideas are there. And so, refer to something else for knowing what your plan is. Um, should it be a classroom based course or an online course? My bias is more towards online. Why? Because closer to the exam, you'll need a bunch of classes at your times. You have to cut travel time. You have to cut schedules that can be customized to you. So, you have to be able to do classes on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday across different topics online all the time. So, you can't say, look, I will do a classroom thing and then see some bits from YouTube. So, the bias now is online. In online, I would say from now on, the bias is more towards having a product which is self-paced because I've seen live online schedules and they're sometimes up and down. You'll, you'll jump onto a live online course and they are right now doing coordinate geometry, trigonometry, mensuration and then you have not done geometry. So, you'll say, look, I won't do coordinate geometry, you shouldn't do coordinate geometry, trigonometry, mensuration without doing geometry. Several places, several times, people just do it. But geometry is the bedrock on which this sits. Your understanding of coordinate geometry, trigonometry, mensuration will be opened up if you do geometry really well. But you'll bypass that and do this. If you have a very sound product in your hand, before attending the coordinate geometry class, you'll attend geometry 1, 2, 3 and say, look, I have this in the back, then I'll go and attend coordinate geometry. Increasingly, you should, if you're starting now or you want to take control of your preparation now, there's quite a few people who have been like, look, I started in April, but I've not really started preparing. And if you're in that bucket, which is very much possible, which is just waking up now on, on August 25th saying, I've just been kidding myself for four months, but I want to get serious now. If you're in that bucket also, gravitate towards online, gravitate towards a self-paced, product-paced learning thing because you can set your pace. You can say every day I'm going to attend classes for six hours in my sequence with my teacher on my terms, at my pace, my location. That is massively useful. So jump onto that and then plan the rest of your preparation around that. Be it 2IM have a fabulous self-paced course where you can sit in one desk, one chair, eight hours a day, learn every element of CAT at any point of time at your pace throughout and knock this exam out of the park. Every year I have students whom I have unfortunately not met in any format but they do wonderfully well because they say look I got serious that day I switched on and then attacked it relentlessly it was my companion throughout and I cracked it. So it could very well be you this time next year whom we are talking about give it a go as wishes. Hush.